the moment a Venezuelan mine collapsed. A wall of earth burying miners inside the illegally run quarry in Bolivar State. It was terrifying seeing the number of colleagues who were buried and others who had only their necks and heads out of the mud and some of them wounded as well. Trying to free them was desperate. Nobody would want a human being to die like that. A few were saved, a few wounded, but there are still bodies which have not been recovered, which are buried there. About 200 people are believed to have been working in the mine. Rescue efforts are still underway with firefighters, the military and additional personnel from the capital, Caracas, involved. Injured survivors are being taken to the nearest hospital, about four hours away. Desperate relatives of those still missing are gathered near the scene, hoping to hear news of their loved ones. She went to the mine to look for sustenance for her children, for her home. Here in La Paragua, there is no company to work for, to provide for our children, to help them get ahead. We are here waiting for the government to please support us with helicopters, airplanes and whatever. Just as they mobilize to put an end to illegal mining, why don't they also mobilize now in Bula Loca? There are dead, there are wounded. Why don't they support us? Where are they? Bolivar State contains bountiful resources of gold and other minerals, making it a center of legal and illegal extraction efforts. This was not the first mine collapse in the region, and tragically, it may not be the last. Rupert Stone, TRT World.